So the NFL Twitter fans is currently saying that this is DeMar Hamlin working out. All jokes aside, let's get into today's video. What's good, YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about this DeMar Hamlin situation. DeMar Hamlin is currently making headlines and it's not for his recovery process. DeMar Hamlin is currently making headlines for possibly being a clone. This situation is just, it's quite weird. And I want to show you guys the video footage that I have today. In this first clip, I want to show you guys DeMar Hamlin pulling up to the Cincinnati first Buffalo game. And this is the footage that was released by CBS of DeMar Hamlin. Let's check this out. DeMar Hamlin is in the building. Yes. If they show him in the stadium in any capacity, it will blow the doors off of this place. DeMar Hamlin just showed up, and it looks like his mom and his little brother is there. Oh, oh we great. love to see it. Stay tuned. It's the Bengals. Bills coming up on CBS. Good job. returned to the facility this week Sean McDermott telling us it was so good to have him around he told us it's baby steps right now it's all completely up to Hamlin how involved he wants to be every day a spokesperson close to the family said despite being out of the hospital he still has a lengthy recovery he requires oxygen and he has his heart rate monitored regularly but he is upbeat he's positive and I was told he has a big smile on his face. Demar stood up right yeah he did this is it right here what a scene oh that's his, that's his sign. What a beautiful, triumphant story that galvanized this entire nation. Okay, and the next clip I have for you guys is from this guy named Stu Peters. I don't know much about this guy, but I want to highlight what he said about DeMar Hamlin. So this is one of the tweets that Stu Peters had put out about this DeMar Hamlin situation. He said, all DeMar Hamlin has to do is get on social media, cut a video, and put an end to the speculation. I want to see a video of DeMar Hamlin holding today's newspaper with the date visible. What a great opportunity to thank his supporters for the $10 million they gave his charity. Y'all leave a comment down below what y'all think about this tweet from Stu Peters. So with that being said, let's get into this clip that I have of Stu Peters. I'm guessing this is from his podcast show. Again, like I said, I don't know much about this guy. But I will have his Twitter account linked in the description box because that's where I got this clip from. So with that being said, let's get into this clip. Here's Stu Peters reacting to the footage that was released by CBS of DeMar Hamlin being at the game. Here's a video. Oh, and speaking of running around, DeMar Hamlin was almost doing that. Certainly, we weren't the only ones that noticed the pep in his step. Again, this guy was dead on the field just a month ago and was brought back with CPR. And by the way, speaking of CPR, if CPR is performed correctly, the person being brought back to life, revived, is almost certain to have internal bruising at minimum, likely broken ribs and damaged cartilage. This was a guy that appeared almost ready to suit up and play in the game on Sunday. Leave a comment down below. How do y'all feel about Stu Peters? So with that being said, I want to get into the reason why I made this video, and that is because of Jason Whitlock. I was watching Jason Whitlock. I am a subscriber to his YouTube channel. He does touch on a lot of topics that I like to hear about. And he was touching on this topic. And I didn't even know this was a thing until I saw Jason Whitlock covering this. That's what made me want to tap in and research about this subject a little bit more. So let's get into what Jason Whitlock had to say about this video. And I'll be right back with a little bit more commentary. Here's a video. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell stay up to date with all of my current youtube videos peace that's why we may never learn the truth about what caused buffalo bill safety demar hamlin to collapse on the field the nfl is a reality tv show dependent on the advertising dollars of big pharma and other global corporations sunday afternoon as cbs broadcasted buffalo's playoff loss to the cincinnati Bengals, the network trumpeted the fact that demar hamlin cheered on the bills from a suite inside highmark stadium on numerous occasions cameras cut to hamlin allegedly reacting to the action on the field I use the word allegedly because the image of Hamlin was so fuzzy behind the glass and snow that it could have easily been an actor wearing a hoodie and gator face mask. Security guards blocked cameras from getting too close to Hamlin. Why the secrecy? I believe Hamlin attended the game and that he was the guy wearing the hoodie and the gator. 
but I believe his handlers have advised him to follow a carefully crafted script, a reality script that will allow him to charge maximum dollars for his on-camera interviews. Hamlin is most valuable over the next year as a mystery, not as a whistleblower or truth teller. The truth about what happened to him on Monday Night Football a month ago is totally irrelevant in comparison to how much money he can earn by telling a story that pleases advertisers. This is the power of television and social media. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment down below. How do y'all feel about this situation? Do you agree more so with Jason Woodlock that the NFL and the Bills is trying to have DeMar Hamlin keep his head down and kind of keep this like mystique aura around him for a monetary gain? Or do you guys agree that it's like some type of clone conspiracy type of thing? I wouldn't want my fans that sat there and prayed for me and put all this money into my charity and having these people just wondering like what is going on with me if i was demar hamlin that's the easiest thing that he could do is just make a video let his fans know that he's okay and continue to pray for him y'all leave a comment down below i'd love to hear y'all thoughts on this man salute i catch you guys on the next video and while i have y'all attention already y'all can go click on any of these other videos on my youtube channel that helps continue to show my youtube channel some love i appreciate you guys man and i'll catch you guys on the next video we out peace